Good evening, everyone. Hi, guys. It's Cynthia. I'm here to do my first um, before I go to bed tapping. So tap along um, before I go to bed, taking the place of the bedtime story. So I um, thought it would be good to just start doing a nightly tapping or at least a couple um, every week. Um, I find that at the end of the day is a great time to do a tapping um, pretty much any time of the day um, is a good time to do EFT, but especially right before you go to bed. And especially right now with everything that's going on in the world and in your or in our own backyard. All of this um, anxiety and pressure that we're having to deal with and things that are um, that we have to address um, as a nation, as a country and as a planet. So for um, any of you who are not familiar with EFT or tapping, um, EFT is an emotional uh, freedom technique. And EFT was created um, by a few different people, but Gary Craig is the one who made it uh, more um, simple and um, easy for anyone to be able to do. And um, so EFT is like, for me personally, is one of the best tools that I've ever uh, tried. And I get results in a matter of less than, you know, a few minutes. And it's just tapping with your fingertips on specific points of the body, which are um, intersections of uh, other points and um, other pathways and meridians. So they're just generalized points where there's a lot of cross sections of uh, pathways of energy pathways and meridians. So what we do is we tap on these places on the body and we address the issue or the physical pain or the anxiety or the tension or tightness or anger. or tightness like in our chest. So for this evening, what I'll be doing is more of a inventory of my day um, and to clear my mind before I go to sleep. And as far as the number between one and 10, which we call a suns, um, 10 being the most uncomfortable or the most tension or the most stress, most anxiety. And I have my number and you can pick your number and then close your eyes and think of where your tightness or your tension or your anger or your resentment is between one and 10 and take a nice big inhale in and then exhale out. Inhale in for four. Exhale out for eight. Do that a few more times. In for four. And out for eight. And I'll start the setup statements. And you can follow along um, and repeat after me. And if you're around people or if you have to be quiet, you can do it in your mind, but you still wanna tap along at the same points. And it doesn't matter if it's right or left even though my day was all over the place and my emotions did run high 
a few times during the day. I completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though there were some times during the day where I almost lost my cool and I almost snapped. I completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I felt like maybe I was going to lose it a few times today. Being around my family is really tough sometimes. I completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Top of the head. This quarantine life. It can be challenging. Today was challenging at times. More family time. More quarantine time. More close quarters time. Sometimes I feel like we're on top of each other. We're so close to each other all the time. I'm with my family 24 seven. Work is slow because of the COVID-19. I'm stressed about money. I'm stressed about work. I'm stressed about COVID-19. I'm worried about my family. I am so confused because I have no idea what the future holds for me. I just don't know where my future is going. I don't know where my career is going. It's been a tough day, but it's been a tougher week. I still feel like I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done. Sometimes I don't know what I should do or what I shouldn't do. I don't know what is a waste of time or what I should be focusing my energy on the most. I get so confused. I get lost sometimes. And today I had my moments. I have my moments. I have my moments where my family brings out things about me from my childhood. But I feel like I've already worked through all this stuff. It shouldn't be affecting me. It shouldn't be affecting me. It still affects me. Why does this stuff still affect me? My childhood still affects me. I still have triggers. I still have triggers. My family still knows how to trigger me. Sometimes I still feel like I'm five years old. Sometimes I still feel like a little girl. Sometimes I really feel like a little girl. 
Sometimes I just want to hide under the bed. Sometimes I just want to hide in the closet. Sometimes I just hate myself. Sometimes I just forget. Sometimes I just forget how hard and how much I've worked and how far I've come. I forget sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Sometimes my fear takes over. Sometimes those beliefs that hold me back, the belief that I'm not enough. Sometimes I believe I'm not enough. Sometimes I believe I'm not enough. Sometimes I believe I'm not going to make it. Sometimes my fear takes over. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I don't think I'm going to make it. Sometimes I get scared. Sometimes I just don't know. I get scared. I don't think I'm enough. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm enough. Sometimes the fear takes over. Sometimes the fear takes over. Sometimes I just don't feel enough. Okay, now take a nice big inhale. And and you want to do a couple more inhales for four and then the exhales at eight. So inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. Now feel your heart again. And feel your heartbeat. Is it racing? Is it calm down? How fast is it going? How slow is it going? Do you feel tightness in your chest? Do you feel tightness in your shoulders? Rub your arms like this for a few minutes. Now squeeze your arms. Squeeze your shoulders. Take another nice big inhale in. And exhale. Inhale in. Now, feel and see what number you are at now. Really focus. And the goal is to get down to a three and anything less than a three and the zero would be perfect. That's the goal. So, 
I'm doing pretty good. So I'm going to finish off for a nightcap with my bedtime tap along, my first official bedtime tap along. Even though I had a day full of uncertainty and I had my ups and downs, I completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I had some ups and downs today, I actually did have a pretty good day. I choose to let go of any negative or unreasonable energy or emotion that I feel is holding me back or holding me down. I choose to let it go. I choose to let it go and let it flow. I choose to let it go and let it flow. Let the emotions and the energies flow through me. Let the energies and information flow through me. Let the information and energy and emotion flow through me. I let go of all of the heavy, stagnant energy that is stuck anywhere in my body, in my mind, my tissue, and my organs, I let it flow, flow through me. I cleanse myself of all my selfishness and my resentment and my critical feelings that I have for my fellow beings my self-condemnation and my misinterpretation of my life experiences. I bathe myself in generosity, appreciation, and praise. Gave myself an appreciation, an appreciation and love. I gave myself with appreciation and love. I gave myself with appreciation and love. I thank the universe and my higher power. for the opportunity to be here and to be healthy and to be present. I choose to Go to bed with a clear mind and a clear conscience. I 
choose to go to sleep with a clear mind and a clear conscience full of love and understanding and empathy. I choose to go to bed with a clear mind, a clear conscience, and a heart full of love, compassion, and empathy. I'll take a nice deep breath. I don't know about you, but I am down to a zero. So, this was our first night of my tap along before bedtime. I hope you enjoyed it. I have many more to come. So please, when you get a chance after this video, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. And let's take this journey together and um, we'll do weekly and uh, weekly um, tap alongs interviews and videos full of information and goodies for all kinds of um, issues and areas of your life that you may feel stuck. So again, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to, to be on this journey with you. Thank you. And keep tapping.